Welcome to Converting Between Point Slope and Splinter Sub Form. All right, on this, uh, this video, what we're looking to do is get form. And just so you can understand what point form is, I'm going to talk about that first and then how to take it and convert into slope intercept form. So here's our equation. You can see the Khan Academy converting between point slope and slope intercept form. We're going to take this equation here and we're going to turn this into y equals mx plus b. So let's do that. But I've taken and put this on a notebook file here. So the first thing I want you to know about point slope form is this over here. Point slope form is in this kind of equation. It's y minus y, and I don't know if I can put a sub 1 on here or not. We're going to find out if I can do this or not. Let's see here if I can do this. Oh, I think I can. Oh, very cool. Okay, and then let's unsub form that for a moment. And that equals m times the sum of x minus x sub 1. Let's sub that one again. There we go. And right about now, you might be asking yourself a question. What the heck is this sub 1 stuff? That seems so confusing. I don't get it. All right, so let me explain that to you. <clears throat> Here's what the sub 1 stuff is. Let's say, for example, that I have points. Um, let's go with 3 and negative 17. And let's say I've got another point, um, oh, let's say, I don't know, 4. Oops, I should put this in coordinate form, 4. And um, oh, let's see here, um, negative 21. There we go. All right, oops. So let's say I've got those two points right there. Now, you should understand, and hopefully you understand, that this first coordinate here, the 3, is an x coordinate. The next coordinate over here, the negative 17, is a y coordinate. And on the next point, you've got a x coordinate over here, and then you've got a y coordinate over there. Let's lower that so you can kind of see it a little clearer. All right, so does that make sense how this is my first, my x coordinate, my y coordinate, my x coordinate, my y coordinate? Well, what you then need to understand is that because this is the first point they give me, this would be a sub 1 and a sub 1, and the second point they'd give me here would be a sub 2 and a sub 2. So what we do is we actually plug in these numbers here, the 3, which is my x coordinate, over here for the sub 1, which actually you can see is right here, x minus 3, which is this coordinate right here. Then we take the negative 17, which is my y coordinate, and I plug that in for my y sub 1 right here. What you can see is now a plus 17. Why would that be plus 17? Because it's minus a negative. So you got to understand that this right here, if I were to take this here, would be minus 17 like so. And when I replace that y sub 1, it would look like that. So then you're sitting here, two negatives put together make a positive. So that's how you go from this y minus y sub 1 equals m, which is your slope, uh, times x minus x sub 1, and you get to this. This is what's called point slope form. So now, what's the first step we do in this one here? First step I do, oops, there we go. First step I need to do here is I need to distribute this negative 4 right here with the x and the negative 3. So what does that look like? y plus 17 equals negative 4x when I multiply the negative 4 by the x. And then a negative 4 times a negative 3 would be a positive 12. So hopefully it makes sense what the first step is right here. Distributing this part right here. So now the second part is I need to get this into slope-intercept form. Do we all remember what slope-intercept form? Let's move that over here. Slope-intercept form again is y equals mx plus b. You'll notice the y is all by itself, and the x's and your constant are all on the right side of the equation. So in order to get this y to be all by itself over here, I need to get rid of that 17. So then the second step of this is I've got to subtract 17 from this side, but whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. And let me underline that whole thing so you can understand that. 
Then, what do we have left over? Well, we have a y left over on this side, which is what we want. The, seven, the, the minus 17 does not combine with the negative 4x because they're not like terms, so it's just negative 4x. But the positive 12 and the negative 17, we add those together and we get a negative 5. So our answer here would be y equals negative 4x minus 5. And that answer, if you remember right, oh, let's see where my Khan Academy is. There it is. So if you remember right, here's my Khan Academy, the original. I need to take this answer of y equals, uh, let me move it down below here. There we go, we should be able to see this. I need to take this answer here, the y equals negative 4x minus 5, and put that right here. Well, y equals, I'm going to put a negative 4 right here, and a plus a negative 5 right here. So I'm going to do that, negative 4 times the x, so you don't have to put the x in there. And a negative 5 goes right here. When I enter that, hey, I get the right answer. All right, let's do one more example here. Here's what the equation is, and so we got to write this equation down. Let's pull this up here, and we'll do this right below here. So I'm going to type this in, y plus 6 equals negative 2 times the sum of x minus 2 right there. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see that's where... This equation is exactly the same as this equation, so let's solve it now. So the first step, as we said, is to distribute this negative 2 right here. So y plus 6 equals negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. So now we got to this level, and again we said we have to solve for the y. We've got to get the y all by itself. So in order to get the y all by itself, we have to do the opposite of add 6 to y, which is subtract 6. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. Hopefully that makes good sense. We'll underline that there so we know what that looks like. When I add these together, the 6s cancel on the left side here. So I'm simply left with a y. On the right side, the negative 2x will stay because I cannot combine that with the negative 6. But the 4, the positive 4 and the negative 6, I do combine together, and that makes a negative 2. So this equation right here results in y equals negative 2x minus 2. So we're going to take that answer. Oh, it doesn't quite show up here. I can make that work, I think. We're going to extend the page a little bit. There we go. So I can take that answer there which is my y equals mx plus b, and I can put that in here. I need a negative 2, which comes from here for the slope, and then I need an additional negative 2, which is also, in this case, the y-intercept. So negative 2, negative 2, and we've got our answer. So hopefully that makes sense on how to do the converting between point-slope and slope-intercept form. Hopefully it's not too difficult, and you guys can master that quite well. If you need to take notes on either the first example or the second example, there they are for you. And I uh, hope you have a great day, and master this con quickly. Thanks. Bye-bye.